I'll probably take the first moment to, to say a few things. Sorry I'm in the back, but I wanted to make sure that my seniors were up here. Um, because five years ago, they bought in when we were recruiting them to changing history and making history and taking the University of Charleston to the next level. And I can tell you that with this group right here, along with the other 12 ladies that we have on our team, that there were a lot of people that didn't know where Charleston, West Virginia was in the softball community. And because of this last few weeks, they now do. And that's a tribute to these six ladies as well as the other 12 ladies that represented the University of Charleston. And so I wanted to bring them to let them know that although they don't get to play another collegiate softball game, they, um, they will forever and always be endowed in my heart because they were my first class. Um, they were the ones that bought in the very first time and said, yes, I'll be a Golden Eagle. And for that, the sky is the world and I owe them everything. Um, I can't really put into words. Uh, my time being a Golden Eagle made me who I am, not only as a softball player, but as a professional, as a person, everything that I am, I owe everything to the University of Charleston, and there's no way I could ever put into words what it meant to be a Golden Eagle. Um, I mean, coming here, I didn't know where Charleston, West Virginia was either, and he took a chance on me, and I bought in. And in the process, I got to make some pretty good friends along the way and grow with some teammates. And that's something I'll never, I'll never be able to trade for anything. I'll never be able to get that anywhere else. And it's just a really, it's a really great moment and a really great, great experience. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um. I think it was like an unbelievable experience. Like in the beginning, we just set small goals, and then to be able to complete those goals and then create even bigger ones was a great, I mean, thing to do. <laughs> Sorry, you got me off guard. <laughs> uh, okay. She's got it. <laughs> you know, she said we did. We set um, small goals to work towards and um, build on. Like each game, coach would always say, we're going to take it day by day, out by out. So um, we would work really hard. And like I said, we've been together since my freshman year. So we kind of like grew up together. And when you're playing with family, like it's so much easier because everything just clicks. And this was our last year, so everything clicked. We worked well together. We always had each other's backs. I'm sorry, this is really hard. But um, we always had confidence in our team, and we knew this was our last year, so we wanted to go out with a bang, and um, we made it, and that's what we did. So. When we started, we really set small, simple things. And, you know, people will look back, and, and a lot of people forget we started one and two. And so that means we finished 49 and 10. And... There were some small things that we just started, we, and we went back and got right back on the basics about midway through our season. And 50 wins is remarkable. You know, I think our previous mark was 40 as a school history, and last year we, we were second with 38. So to better that by 12 more, um, you know, first and foremost was, you know, they bought in. And, you know, we did a really good job pitching. Um, and we did a really good job playing defense. And there was a lot of kids up here. Um, you know, there's been multiple reports and multiple stories on our lineup and the fact that at any given time, somebody has won a game, whether it was our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we've had kids come in and pinch hit. Um, and they've gotten big time. And they've all. And so it was really, really a tribute to. Um, we talked about puzzle pieces, and I've talked about making sure that you've got bigger pieces, you've got small pieces, you've got center pieces, you've got round pieces, you've got, you know, corner pieces and left and all those things. And these these ladies bought into that it's going to make one puzzle. And you know, a few times we realized that we tried to play without some puzzle pieces, and we got bit. 
and so they they really tried to stay and, and, and stick to that. Um, hats off to, to Southern Arkansas. Um, they did a good job. Um, you know, they're you know Miss Garner did a good job keeping us. You know, there was a couple of situations that she got into, um, and, and you know Coach Anderson did a good job. had a great had a great game plan against us, um, and, and knew what to do. So hats off to them for going out and you know and continuing their season. Um, but there's no words for 50. There's no words for 50 wins. Um, you know, and, and there's no words for these six ladies. Um, there, there's. I, I'm forever and ever and ever grateful for this team and these ladies.